looks like one might be coming off the left hand side right here. He feels they have rattled Hartman in the past when he was the quarterback. They do bring that pressure and the ball comes out. Recovered by Notre Dame back inside the 15 yard line. Third and 10 again. We still have not had a first down. Hartman takes off running and has the first down. He gets collared at the 30 yard line by Peyton Wilson. In his first year at Notre Dame after four at South Florida. And he has plenty of leg on that one. And it is good. Spencer Schrader from 54. Especially Devin Leary who was the preseason ACC player of the year last year. Four man rush for Notre Dame. Armstrong hit as he throws and it's still caught. For a first down their first of the game. Bradley Rosner at 101 career catches at Rice. Jordan Houston threw a big haul. And he lunges forward for another NC State first down. As we go along, it's first and 10 for Notre Dame. There was a touchback on the last play and a big hitter right out of the break. Audric Estime is going to go the distance. An 80-yard touchdown. Here at Carter Finley Stadium. And just an excellent start here for Notre Dame. Absolutely ideal, perfect block on the kick out by the outstanding left tackle Joe Alt. Audric Estime makes a goal. 10-0 Irish. From their own 40, Brennan Armstrong on the Wolfpack. Firing one deep, single coverage, jump ball, and it is intercepted by Benjamin Morrison, the outstanding sophomore cornerback. What a play by Benjamin Morrison. Look at his eyes the entire time tracking the football. Never even looks at the wide receiver. As a run blocker, just a well-rounded talent. Another nice pocket for Hartman. His throw on target. Tobias Merriweather tripped up from behind inside the 35. Ran a sub 4 5 40 in the preseason. Man, they really need Tobias Merriweather to get going. It looked like for a moment Boykin was going to jump it, but there came Merriweather right across the middle, and Hartman does such a great job working the middle of the field. So much of college offense is outside the numbers. Hartman very comfortable working the middle. Professional soccer team. She played at Virginia. That's where she and Brennan met. There's a good throw and catch. And a first down for NC State. Juice Farine into Notre Dame territory. Third down and goal from the nine. Armstrong. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown. Bradley Rosner. Maris Leofau is in charge of Brennan Armstrong. And as soon as he breaks the pocket, he buys a little time. Look, QB spy. Last week, Brennan Armstrong, he was tucking this and running. Now he's keeping his eyes downfield, throws a strike. They spread the field with receivers. Hartman had some time against the three-man rush. Now has Tyree wide open. Tyree down the sideline, a couple of defenders with an angle. And he's blasted at the 13. And Aiden White, number three, he's responsible for the flat. He kind of loses track of where Tyree is, comes up. In Winston-Salem, November of 2021, led by Sam Hartman. They scored 45 in a three-point win. Hartman to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. Jaden Greathouse. Just a beautiful design. Hartman's eyes are on one defender. He knows exactly where he's going to go, and as soon as he works that defender with that post on the inside, he knows he's going to have Jaden Greathouse right behind him. Look at the timing. Balls out immediately. They line up fairly quickly. Armstrong zings it. There's Juice Farine across midfield. 49-yard try. He has plenty of leg for that. And it is right down the middle. Braden Narvison from beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, Desert Mountain High School. Outside of Ohio State. That's always the caveat, right? 
7 20 to go third quarter Sam Hartman on first down down the seam on target first down to the Wolfpack 48 Holden stays the tight end over 100 yards again estimate for the second time in three games this season Hartman throws it out wide here stays again he stays in bounds and goes to the end zone touchdown Notre Dame just play action right up the middle and you'll see Holden stays just slip right out into the flat. Just a little spider two wide banana. Perfect throw to the outside, but how about stays staying in bounds, tight rope in the sideline. That might be something you need to utilize moving forward with how quickly Notre Dame's closing. Launches it up in a single coverage jump ball and it is caught. Kayon Lassane with Cam Hart in coverage. He does. Armstrong fires, caught, first down, and down to the one goes Juice Farine. DJ Brown the tackle. He's your leading receiver today, four catches for 65. Armstrong. Crowd thinks it's a touchdown. The officials now signal touchdown, NC State. Take a look at the progressive pylon. Just a little QB sweep. I mean, Notre Dame saw this two weeks ago. He kind of went down because he had to reach back for it. Three for his last 11 for Armstrong against another. Blitz! And that one is intercepted off the hands of Concepcion and picked off by Ramon Henderson. And that time, Brennan Armstrong got it out really quick to the point where it looked like for a second he was going to squeeze it. Estimate back in a running back. They fake it to him. They flip it up for Davis Sherwood. Touchdown, Notre Dame. The tight ends fully engaged today for the Irish. Exact same play that Holden Stays scored on earlier. Spider two, Y banana. This time, instead of Stays, it's Sherwood. He slips out into the flat. Exactly what we thought they might do right there. Making that a point of emphasis in this game. Back-to-back -back penalties, first and 25, over the middle, and intercepted again. D.J. Brown picked it off. Stays with it, drags it in. And this secondary, man, they have come to play today. You go to the NFL, be a fifth-round pick, or come back and play for a championship. Estime breaks free and scores. Just so difficult to bring down, and you referenced it. With that much weight behind you at 230. Straight downhill, man. He's really developing into an excellent back. Armstrong dumps it over the middle. Heading in the wrong direction for a moment. Lassane. And now he has the first down and much more out to the 45 yard line. We're creating the run game. I mean, they're going to see a lot of different looks and. I think it's a gauntlet for the Irish, but I think they might be able to get there. I really believe it. Hartman has a man open. And another touchdown for Holden Stays. He has scored two touchdowns today. And against that fast-flowing defense, the misdirection has been problematic for NC State at times today that are down around the box to stop the run game. They're going to get a lot of really favorable matchups, and they've taken advantage of it today. Armstrong on target. Porter Rooks the catch. Antonio Carter had coverage. He's a transfer from Rhode pass Island. Defense, number four. And he got five. flagged for pass result. interference. Where you stand in ACC play, but a lot of winnable games in the next few weeks at home. And... They can still, I think, do a lot of good things this year. They can clean some things up defensively and really get the passing attack going. Amazing family, their dad, Gene Corrigan. There's a seam ball down the middle. And a touchdown to Kari Collins, the transfer from Clemson. I have to wonder, we showed Blue Corrigan a minute ago, the athletic director at the NC State. It's not... Totally awful for him. Undoubtedly, he wants the Wolfpack to win. Catching a first down for Rooks, but he is a Notre Dame grad. 
And congratulations to his brother Kevin, the lacrosse coach at Notre Dame, on their national championship won a few months ago. Another one of the great guys in an amazing family. Their dad, Gene Corrigan. There's a seam ball down the middle and a touchdown. Dakari Collins, the transfer from Clemson, with his first catch for the NC State Wolfpack, and it winds up in the end zone, a 23 yard score. It was a nice route, too, by Dakari Collins working to the inside. You see how he's able to create that immediate separation, and that was a nicely timed throw from Ben and Armstrong. There's been a few times today where he's been a little late. Hasn't really trusted the receiver. That time he throws it on time before the defender can arrive and Dakari Collins falls forward into the end zone. Collins has been banged up a little bit, so hasn't seen much playing time in these first two games. Raiden Narvison adds the extra point. And it's 45-24 with 2.03 to go. Tell a little bit with Brendan Armstrong. There's still a little bit of a process of feeling out with the receivers, trying to still develop that chemistry. And I referenced probably been four or five occasions today where he's been just a little bit late. Had he delivered the ball just a little bit sooner, anticipated just a little bit better, it would have given his receivers a whole lot more space to be able to work with the ball in their hands. So I think they're just going to have to continue to work on that. He's going to have to continue to get comfortable and develop that rapport with some of the guys he's going to be trusting on the outside. You know, we've had a lot of lists today. Sam Harbin moving up the all-time touchdown list. Brennan Armstrong. Number one in career passing yards in the ACC all time among lefties. <laughs> there you go. You know, two minutes to go. We've been here more than five hours. You know, it's a three score game with just dumping nuggets. Onside kick. Handled well by the Irish. Xavier Watts out there. Here's Kevin Nagandi. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.